here we are over at my craft table. So one of the reasons I wanted to share with you a one sheet wonder today was because if you're anything like me, you probably stocked up on a whole stack of designer series paper in last month's Stampin' Up! sale. So now's the time to use it. So I really wanted to provide, I know that my customers had stocked up on some, so I really wanted to provide to them some ideas on what to do with it all and make sure they were using it, of course. So I'd like to share that with you again, with you as well today. So today I'm using the Heartwarming Hugs Designer Series Paper Pack and it coordinates the cardstock or the colours, sorry, that it coordinates with is Real Red, Pepper's As, Mossy Meadow and of course Whisper White. Can't go past Whisper White for stamping. It is the best. So what I like or what I love really about this particular pack of paper is even though it's available in the holiday catalog or our Christmas catalog, it's the uh, mini uh, um, August to December mini catalog, it's actually not really too Christmassy, other than the colours, of course, but teamed up with any other collection of stamps and accessories, you can adapt these designs to, to any card, you know, or project for any occasion. This is the particular design that I'm using today, stripes, my favourite, can't go past stripes. Um, so yeah, that's that one. So you'll see that one shortly in action. But here is what the template will look like. Now I've just magnified this on a 12 by 12 for, for so that you can see it clearly now. Um, and what I've done, I've highlighted two, li two lines for you in green here. These are starting points for where to cut from. Now, all the measurements as well as a design guide will be coming in a tutorial for you. So that'll be loaded up shortly to the group. So be sure to come back and grab that so that you can get crafting, um, you know, your own one sheet wonders. Um, so here it is here. It'll look similar to this and it will have all the measurements in black as well as some other numbers like in red just here. Now these numbers here refer to card design layout, card layout design ideas. So if you need a little bit of guidance on where to place your elements on um, your card designs, then, then yeah, these will help you along. Now, the only, so in, in this particular design, there's just a tiny little strip across the bottom that I haven't used today, but I'm sure that you could snip these and include them in cards quite easily. Now, if you're also like me and have lots of stamps that you feel like you don't show them enough love, <laughs> that's, that's most of us, right? So, what I've done with my One Sheet Wonder today is broken them down into four groups of three cards. So this One Sheet Wonder makes 12 cards. So here are the first three. And so I've used different um, stamps and dies so that I'm sharing the love around my, my collection of crafting supplies here. So the first one is the Peace and Joy and I just think this is one clever created die set, or bundle actually. Um, you know, three elements for one, you know, for each of the um, sentiments allows you to create so many different variations that your, you know, your cards will look so different. And I just love the, um, the versatility in that. So the stamps themselves have a lovely combination of sentiments and, and graphics as well as two different fonts which will give you a beautiful, um, you know, contrast as you can see here. You can see that they, yeah, they just work beautifully together. I've just added a little bit of braided trim and fluffed the edges here to create some texture. And uh, of course, you can't forget, you know, rhinestones 
every card needs a little bit of bling. Most cards need a bit of bling, don't they? So, um, so yeah, so I've just used the holiday rhinestones for those. The next group of cards that I'm going to show you is this collection here. Da, da, da. And I just love baubles and bells. Bells are my favourite. Baubles run a close second, I think. And especially this particular bundle, the Cherish the Season bundle, which features the Sounds of Season die set and Cherish the Season stamp set. I love this collection here. They just remind me of the baubles from the Polar Express, which is just a favourite Christmas movie, of course. Um, and I love the embossing detail that's featured in these dies. It's just, yeah, they're beautiful. So this is how I've pulled this collection of three. So here I've used three strips of designer series paper and framed it with some cardstock and then just blinged it up a little bit using some foil, the red and green foil sheets. Now, this one's very similar in design again. You've got your three strips of your designer series paper framed with um, some cardstock, but I've stamped my baubles this time and used the fern stamp for background of my, um, my die-cut fern leaves. Now, this is where you can start to get a little bit creative with the, the design layouts. So this particular um, design layout came from number six. So you've got two little strips and I've positioned them either side, which is fairly easy to use. But as I was putting this card together, um, it sort of worked for me to actually bring them together and use them as a crisscross. So I've got the baubles just hanging off there. And of course, don't forget your bling. <laughs> Gotta have the bling. So the next group of cards that I'm going to show you uses the Ornamental Envelope Collection. So that's these ones here. This is the stamp set. And I just love, your eye automatically goes to this large collection of baubles that's just the hero in this stamp set. But don't discard all these little other bits. You can actually do quite a lot with them. Dress up corners of cards and envelopes and create garlands. The, the possibilities are endless, yeah? And I just love all the different things that you can do with this die set to show your envelope some love. So I'll be using more of my designer series paper to create envelope liners and even, um, you know, a die, like die cutting my envelope flap and some popping some designer series paper behind that. It'll be great. Of course, it also has the frames to allow you to um, punch out your baubles and create nice depth there. So these these two cards are using the um, designer series paper with the angle cuts. So nice way of, um, yeah, creating some interest there. And there you can see some uh, simple stamping here with, um, yeah, using the garlands. They're polymer stamp set, so it makes lining them up really easy. And this one here, I've just um, teamed up with the stitched nested labels dies as well. So that's those those ones. And the last collection I have to show you, 12, 12 cards in 12 minutes, yeah? <laughs> so is this collection here. So this is the sweetest border, uh, sweetest time bundle. So using, you know, the hero image being the um, collection of candles there, but it also has holly and, um, you know, your candy cane and, and a few other very traditional uh, Christmas elements as well. Very clever, another clever, cleverly created die set where you're able to create borders. So here... Um, you can quite easily use the paper piecing technique, which is what I've done here, and I've kept it very simple. You can actually build it up quite a bit with all these extra holly leaves and fern leaves. Um, paper piecing is usually a fiddly technique for me, but it's but it's come together really easy with this collection and, of course, made even more simple with my favourite, 
the take your pick tool. A little bit of Tombow, take your pick, and it's it comes together quite easy. So this one here, I've moved my designer series paper off to the edge and then I've created my border out of some cardstock and created a cluster arrangement in the in the center there. I've got used some of the stamped image as well as the, the die, the thinlet die. But I really wanted another one that went the other way. And so to create that, what I did was use the same frame die that I used to punch, die cut my candy cane and teamed it up with my border die. So once I die cut, um, you know, using some of the uh, Mossy Meadow cardstock, I re, I popped my single frame over the top of my cardstock that had already been die cut to punch out a separate candy cane. So I really liked how that came together. It allowed me to have candy canes going this way and that way. So that's good. And then more just simple stamping at its finest. So there's 12 ideas of cards for you. Um, using one whoop, one sheet of card uh, one sheet of designer series paper so I hope that this has given you quite a lot of ideas and um, and also yeah some inspiration to help bulk up your Christmas card making uh, for this um, you know for the next few weeks.